We all love to laze around, but have you ever wondered what makes it easier for us to unwind? Electromagnetic waves! We have various inventions that help us to harness these waves, to watch TV, to listen to our favourite music, and even heat up our favourite food. Can you imagine what life would be like if we could not make use of these waves? I'm Johnny, and welcome to All The Small Things. We'll explore the few basic items in this episode that might not seem like a big idea now, but it was certainly a big idea back in the past. Sorry, sorry. (laughs) Uh, The radio, first invented by Guglielmo Marconi. Initially called the wireless telegraph, it was first used to transmit Morse code, but would be further invented and innovated to transmit sound. You would think that radio waves are sound waves, but they're not. They're actually electromagnetic waves. The radio helps to convert the electromagnetic waves into sound waves. These waves actually travel at the speed of light, and they can travel on forever until something absorbs them. You know, without electromagnetic waves, we wouldn't have all the other cool inventions like the wireless internet routers. And if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have Wi-Fi. <sighs> Although radio waves were used for long-range communications, the need for short-range communications came about even before the radio using infrared. Infrared light was discovered in 1800s by Sir William Frederick Herschel. But The first remote control was created in 1898 by Nikola Tesla, the same man who created the famous Tesla coil. Infrared light can be used for short ranges, so it can be found in objects such as our handphones, alarm systems, as well as our favourite couch potato helper, the remote control. Another interesting thing is that warm objects emit infrared light that can be detected by night vision goggles and animals such as vipers. Since warm objects radiate infrared light, Wouldn't that mean we can make them hotter using waves as well? Of course we can! Follow me. The microwave was invented totally by accident by Percy Spencer in the 1940s, and it wasn't initially used to heat up food. The first microwave oven for food was 6 feet tall and cost a whopping 5,000 US dollars. There used to be many misconceptions about microwave food being inedible, but actually what happens is that the food absorbs the microwaves, which turns into heat. That's all. What you can't heat up though are oil, such as olive oil. That's why it's very hard to thaw frozen butter because it has lots of oil in it. I mean, well, you can, but it takes a a really long time. But hey, how about water? Surely you can heat up water, right? No. Do not try this at home you can cause a cup of water to explode if you heat it past the water's boiling point. And if you do heat it past its boiling point, do not touch it because any movement will cause a violent release of heat. It might even lead up to an eruption. So, don't say we didn't warn you. Microwaves are not just for heating things up. They are used for detecting speeding vehicles, transmitting TV broadcast signals, and treating muscle soreness. The radio, remote control, and microwave oven These ideas were the start of something big. So you have to wonder, what are the next big ideas changing our future? I'm Johnny, and thank you for watching All The Small Things. Tune in to The Big Idea on Channel News Asia.